Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Drive Vlogs. Today with me I have the 2016 Mercedes-Benz SLK and it's the hot top version. So it's a coupe very easily and I will talk you through more about the car later. And now let's get started. <music> So let's start with the design of this car. This car has got the upgraded AMG line body kit. So it's more spottier than the normal version. So you got like this big stripe across the grill and it's got some chrome on it and it looks nice. And through the chrome you got the big Mercedes badge. You also got one more three pointed star over here. Then these are your LED lights and they're nothing too showy just normal led lights and over here you got your led fog light and it's got some kind of a pattern in it but yeah it's really hard to notice anyway surrounding it you got chrome nice and even in 2016 you got fake ones in a mercedes there you go fake and fake that's a complaint Sorry, Mercedes. Anyway, moving to the lower bumper, you got slower and wider, and it's more angular, and it looks spottier. Nice. So you got your creases over here, and it's like a stepper bonnet. So you got this bit, then you got this bit. Here's where the creases are. So you got one crease over there. And you got one in the middle, which is dead straight, pointing to the Mercedes badge. Then you got another one over here. And talking about the bonnet, it is a very long bonnet. Anyway, it's nice. Then moving on, you got some air vents over here. And they let the hot air out of the engine. And you got the same on the opposite side also. Let's now move to the side of this car. So you got your wheels 18 inches in diameter and they're big. And you got a Mercedes badge also, which is also very big, bigger than the newer cars. And you got AMG written over here because these are the AMG wheels. And you got Mercedes Benz written in the brake helpers. So then you got this like a bit of a V arch, and it looks spotty. Nice. Moving on, you got this, you got chrome over here. There is no vents. They're just showcasing vents they're fake absolutely fake why do you do this i don't know they should change this very much it's a bad thing for their cars mercedes does not need fake things and it's also in the case of vents also anyway moving on from that calamity the side skirts so over here you got your side skirts they're very low to the ground and very aggressive you got very bold creases in them and they look nice and you got this extra bed comes over here and yeah that's kind of cool then moving up there's your door handles nothing pretty special just ordinary door handles but the cutout for this is a bit too big and it looks a bit funny it does not need to be that big it should have been just like a normal handle and a little bit smaller that would look great then over here are your door mirrors these have got like these lines in them which make them co look cooler and you got this black bit also over here and here's how they look not very bright because it's in the day and the sun is boiling down and now uh look at this scarf on the side you got no roof and it looks yeah nice and one more thing you got frameless windows spotty so now let's go to the back of the mercedes slk so the design in the rear you got your three-pointed mercedes badge over here the slk 250d badging over there and you got like a tail light over here and i found something cool see you got a very small red mercedes three-pointed stand there nice detail 
moving on to the brake lights and these are also LEDs nothing too special of course they're old six years old by now but they have something cool in them and they're not too shabby or anything but that's the purpose so there's your exhaust pipes a dual pipes but one annoying thing is it's a fake surround and then you got a smaller pipe within there why do you do this there was no need for fake exhaust and there was no need for this big exhaust it's just a calamity improve the fake exhaust but please make it real mercedes you got to do this because it is a very brilliant thing i like the entire piece but not the small pipe we got to fix that issue mercedes then moving to the bumper it's just yeah it's just black plastic nothing too special just a little bit of body edge over here to make the car lower to the ground and that is it for the design of the slk now let's check out the boot so let's open the boot of the slk it's heavy and this is the space with the roof folded down you got very less space and yeah not a lot and now i will show you when the roof is off how much space is there so now the space in the boot if you put that away is 335 liters does not look like a very lot but there is yeah and it's good and that's for the boot of the slk very small but better than its rivals now let's go inside which is very good come on so how to open the sunroof on the slk it's a very hard thing mercedes have hidden it because i don't know why it's hidden and it took me a lot of time to find it but if you buy an slk you can find it easy because if you have watched my video i have explained it so you put your key in start the car the car needs to be start then come over come on so there is no controls but look at this it feels a little bit suspicious and there it is that's the way to put your roof down and up now it is time to open the roof ready three go so there goes the roof opening so the boot has opened and there goes the roof now and it's down and there comes the boot it's also closed and the windows come back up and now i'm going to lower the window and that's how you turn an slk from a hard top to no top see the roof is down nice and this is how the roof closes and again it's the same mechanism as it opened and when it's coming down at you it's like someone's coming to kill you and when it hits the stopping thing uh, it sounds like a very cocooned you feel scary dangerous but it's not dangerous at all and yeah it's closed now so the inside of the slk so there's a steering wheel it's wrapped in leather and it's really nice to hold it's kind of flat bottom nice and they got red stitching because this is the amg line car nice so then you got your buttons on the steering wheel over here some chrome over here and you got a mercedes badge over here and in some cars the center busting feels cheap but not in this one this is really nice and over here you got a paddle shift they are metal and really nice to fit and that is a cruise control controller so then you got your dials they are white dial with the red needle and it's got like the checker flag effect in the middle really nice and it's analog which means it's easy to read then moving on to the other side it's the same you got white with a red needle and you got a small screen in between when the car is on which i'm going to do now you could see it's in economy mode sports mode 
or manual mode where you could use the paddle shifts. Then over here you got your Evans and they got this for design and in the middle you got some big bulging and really nice. It's got chrome surrounding it also. Then moving down from here you got your light controls all over here for your high beam, your park light and the power for the high beam, your parking brake and that's over here. The moving down there's your pedals. They're aluminium pedals and they are spotty. And the floor mats are also spotty. These are AMG floor mats. So then you got a kick plate over here, Mercedes Benz. Button. Nice. Metal door handle. Red stitching. Really spotty. And leather everywhere. Look at these. These are your door bins. You see, this is a really fun way and they hold it very well. And you got red stitching on the seat, but also there we go, red seat belt, really spotty. And I'm gonna be sitting in this car like this. Yeah. See? So then there's your glove box and this is like got this metal. Nice. And the space in here is not a lot, it's tiny. You got one over here and another smaller one over here. Yeah, not very big. This car has an infotainment system. Yeah, it has. And this is a Benz badge. There's a screen. Not very big, not very complicated, just a screen. You could go to like audio navigation. No navigation module is not connected. And you got system. You could see a clock or an MPG. You could, see, you could put the display off or on, and that's about all it. Then down over here, you got your phone number buttons, so you could call someone. And on this side, you got a bunch of circuit buttons. And over here, you got your answer and decline button. And this is your volume control and this is for skipping the tracks and you got a clear button over here and you got your you got a CD player how old is that <laughs> then moving down you got the control for another bunch of switches I don't know why these two and these two are here anyway uh, these are your hazards this is for the traction control off and this is for the auto start stop system and then over here you got your climate control for the windscreen heating and the AC and stuff and this is for the air fan speed and that's the temperature selecting and you got some area over there which is very small and you got a forward socket key and look at this, you got this very nice metal effect lovely, I like it this is your gear selector so it's got an, it's a small one and it's got leather on it and that's your parking, drive, new front, reverse. And this is the button for your sports, eco, and manual mode button. And this is the infotainment system controller. Then you got cup holders also. Not the splitting, so if you put the cup over here, it could fall down. You open it over here. And you got some little space over here, not very deep. Then you got a USB over here, a 12 watt socket. Then you got this leather pouch over here where you could keep your drinks and you got this wind deflector over here That's it for the interior of the SLK It's nice, spotty and really good Now, the engine Let's take the engine of the SLK It's holding up by gas struts and there's your engine 2 litre inline 4 diesel It's got 201 bhp and it's a twin turbo does 0 to 16 6 .6 seconds and got a top speed of 152 miles which if you're on the autobahn is not very fast otherwise in Ireland and UK and everywhere else it is fine <coughs> and that is it for this video hope you enjoyed it and the SLK it's a very good car and bye